Hey, I'm Scott Hansman. It's Azure Friday. I'm here with Pranav Rastogi. We're talking about Azure Web Jobs. A little more advanced yeah. stuff. Yes. We we scaled them. <laughs> We've scaled Web Jobs. We've made Web Jobs in previous episodes. Um, now, that we know that there's a lot of things going on with the Azure dashboard. There's the main Azure kind of portal, portal that we think of. Yes. And then there's the new sort of woo -woo mm. portal. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was Is not that what, what it was called. It's not called the woo woo portal. <laughs> no. But it's the new DevOps, it's, you know. Fancy it's, portal. Yes. But when you are working on uh, web jobs, jobs, you're not thinking about the details of the inner workings of portals. Right. You're just trying to get the functionality right. Yes. And one of the things that we've been trying to experiment with is web jobs dashboard is like we're trying to build some sort of monitoring experience around like how much time did it take for my web job to run, how much CPU time did it take. And that's why our, our web jobs dashboard is right now running like as a site extension so that we can iterate on it quickly and sort of get feedback before we sort of uh, see where this dashboard fits in. A uh, site in extension. Like, site I think ex of site extension, that's like Kudu. We had that debug exactly. console. Yes. So you're one. You're like that? We're like just one of them. So we are, we are an extension to your Azure website. We are always there. Like, as soon as you create a new Azure website uh, in, in Azure, uh, there's already a site extension for you over there, which allows you to monitor your web jobs. Mm -hmm. And so I'm going to show you, like, you know, there are different kinds of web jobs you can create as well. You can create web jobs which are PowerShell based, uh, which are .NET, uh, C Sharp console applications, or Python, or JavaScript. Uh, there's sort of different kinds of web jobs that you can create, and we're sort of building this one dashboard experience to let you monitor all these web jobs uh, together. And it's a little bit less than polished because web jobs yes. is in preview, so of course the UI for this, for this, dashboard, this dashboard is, is, is not the, super polished. Exactly. And there are some features we're sort of toying around to see like which would make more sense and which would not make uh, so much more sense. So, so trying to get your feedback on it as well. Okay, so you go into this the current Azure dashboard, the management portal. Right. And then you scroll to the right, and you've got logs there. Yes. That's how you get to it. That's how you get to it. So you'll so. put a web job in, and then we'll jump over and look at it. Perfect. So I, ha I have this uh, PowerShell web job which I'm going to upload, and all this PowerShell web job does is basically it prints out the date. Okay, right, because remind, a reminder that web jobs can be console so apps, PowerShell, Shell, JavaScript, Python scripts, anything. Okay. So what I've done is basically I've, for this PowerShell job, I've gone ahead and basically zipped up the file. So in my PowerShell.zip, I have this run.ps1. Which says get date. Which says get date. Okay. And I'm going to upload this PowerShell web job uh, as part of my Azure website. All righty. So here you go, PowerShell. And we're going to say run on demand. So a web job can be run in three modes. Run continuously means you know keep running it every time. So as soon as a new message on a queue comes, the web job is going to get triggered. Mm -hmm. uh, run on schedule means I have a database cleanup log. I want to run every Sunday. So I can hook up the Azure scheduler and run every Sunday. Right. And run on demand is I'm going to just run it like forcefully whenever I want to. Okay. So I can say either from the command line or you just push run or whatever. exactly. So here I just uploaded my web job, and uh, if I click this link, it's going to take me to this web jobs uh, dashboard, which is showing me all the particular jobs that I have. So in this case, this PowerShell job that I just e uploaded is showing me that you know it sort of ran twice because I had uploaded it twice earlier when I, I was see. practicing for this. Right. Uh, but if I go ahead and sort of run it from the management portal. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to say run once, which is going to execute this PowerShell job. OK. So I say run once, go back to this <coughs> diagnostics dashboard, and if I say refresh, we should see one more row. A like moment it ago, it says. says moment ago. And it, it sort of gives you some final level details of you know how much time did it take to run. And if I click this particular invocation, then it's going to show me some details around this web job itself. So this is, in practice, like the basically console dot out. Uh, ah, okay. So because th this is not just you saying, "Hey, run this PowerShell thing." You're a managed environment. Right, web jobs is yes. So you're almost like a uh, a container in which this is running. Exactly. So I I, I was I, I was kind of just expecting to see the date. Oh no. <laughs> but, but there's more because you there's actually more. have the Azure right web job uh, womb. Because the script, it, it starts the PowerShell script. It's you know giving you some uh, debugging information around it. So this is you. And this is us. This is what our get date function did, basically. <coughs> I see. And look at this. And a little bit of interesting insight into how it works there. It says run script with script host. Right. And for a command 
like a CMD, it's going to be a different script host. Like it's going to be the Windows script host, uh, script host itself. Uh, <coughs> so if I go back to this web jobs uh, main page, you know there are different kinds of files. There's a batch file. There's a little JavaScript uh, <coughs> file running over here. Uh, there's also an, an interesting job which I'm going to show you a little more on what you can do is uh, image resize and watermark. So let me show you what this job does. So what this job does is basically you can upload an image and it's going to add a watermark and it's going to do some resizing on this image. So this piece of code is basically going to get triggered as soon as you upload a new uh, image to this blob container called images one hyphen input. Okay, so it's going to call watermark, and then it's going to call trick. Uh, so the resize. images one is the name of the container within the blob. Yes. And then the name is going to be the name auto of the file, in. like foo.jpg, bar.jpg, or something. And web image, what cla what name does that live inside? So web image is my own custom binder that I have. So it's going to take the contents from like foo.jpg and it's going to bind it to web image. So I can do like image dot add watermark and resize and any of the helper functions which web image oh, has. Okay. So web image, you know, if you remember, it comes from the ASP.NET web pages assembly, which is the helper that we have for image processing. Okay. We'll do an additional video on advanced binding techniques. Yes. And so let me go back to the Azure uh, management portal. Mm -hmm. I'm going to start this uh, image processing job. And I already have in my blob container called images one hyphen input, I have this file uploaded. Images. Got it. And if I go back to big, the management portal, I click this log link. It's going to take me to this particular invocation of this uh, web job, which got triggered because the job started. It detected this uh, new blob. So success. Mm -hmm. Let's take watermark. So then it says read it, read it in, and it right. was a meg, almost two megs. Right. And then wrote it out. About this amount of time. It was half the size because yes. you squished it. Yes. You, you squished it and would it did the watermark at the and same time. And it did the watermark at the same time. So the, and a pretty good neat sort of the diagnostics that we're trying to play around with is if you notice the note section, it's giving you some details around how many bytes were read, what percentage, how much time did it spend on I/O, and I think. You know, these things might be more interesting for people as they start building more image processing like applications or video processing like applications to see like what is the Azure usage. Like you can also see maybe in the future we might say like this is how much did it cost you to run this function because right. you know this is how much of storage you used, this is how much of queue processing you used, this is your aggregated cost of running a function. Right. So these are some of the ideas that we are trying to play around with this diagnostics dashboard mm -hmm. to see sort of what happens. Well in this case here, this reminds us that from the perspective of the person writing the internals, you right. have lots of information available to you. Right. And how do you want to expose that? Is this going to be a pie chart or a bar chart or we don't metrics know yet, or right. alerts? I don't know. It's but as a, as a consumer of web jobs, wow, there's a lot of information available right. to me. And then the beauty of it is basically you didn't have to write any code to get that diagnostics information. Like all you had to do was like you know add some bindings for blobs and then add some triggers. And then you got all of this information for free as well. Uh, and the neat thing about this graph is also, you know, this image processing has a two-step workflow. It does a watermark and then did a resize of on my particular image. Mm -hmm. And I also have this replay function uh, feature. And what this feature allows me to do is, like, if I'm processing like say thousand images and one of them failed, I can basically rerun the entire chain of execution flow. For example. I can upload a new image and I can run watermark, which is going to trigger resize. So I can see what happened uh, live on in these particular inputs. So when I say replay function, I can enter in different inputs, different outputs. I'm not necessarily replaying it on the exact same blob. Exactly. I can do a debugging session kind of. And a live debugging in Azure. So I can upload this new picture called you know, ASP.NET.PNG and I can replace the image. See, and this feels like, while you're doing that, this feels more like not something I would want to do inside of a portal. This is more debug console. This is kind of a debug console, exactly. <clears throat> Interesting. And so I can replay this particular function with these new inputs. And so it's going to, the function is queued. The reason it's saying this blob ah, doesn't exist. Because the output blob doesn't exist. Exactly. Because and now it does. And now it does. Ah. 
<laughs> that was fancy. Yeah. For a second, you thought that was not uh, working. <laughs> No. That was nice. So it's no, so basically, you know, that's what the SDK is doing behind the scenes. Is like, you know, it takes up the blob, it, it reads the image, it creates a new blob for you, and then it sort of plays out the whole chain of execution as well. Very cool. Um, <coughs> and the last thing I wanted to show you as as part of this whole diagnostics experience is we also have this Kudu dashboard, which is sort of your site extension, which you were mentioning right, for your site. People can go to Azure Friday and look for Kudu, and you can see lots of information about how that deployment system works. Exactly. And so Kudu has this new feature called Process Explorer. And Process Explorer, what it tells you is like, what are all the processes running in your website? And so if you remember, like web jobs are nothing but just like, you know, console.exe, oh, my node.exe, which is not my JavaScript web job. So now you can sort of monitor and see, OK, like, what are all of my processes running? How much of like, memory do they have, thread count? Uh, I can, you know, right, find handles and You've got node running stuff. here, so that yes. might be your website, and then next to it yes. you've got your image resizer. Exactly. Um, <clears throat> so that's another way of sort of looking at your site and see what happens. And that's where what we're trying to rationalize is like, you know, how do we give you a more consistent experience around this diagnostics around your web jobs and your, and your, and your websites as well. Right. Remember that Azure Web Jobs is in preview, but you can play with it right now. Uh, it's Azure Friday. <laughs>